My name is Christian Kabuai. I'm an artist and cultural practitioner here in Soma, Pilipinas. My art practice uh, is focused on pre-Philippine scripts and tattoos. Uh, just like many of us as kids, I would draw and uh, create characters of my own world and I just never stop. But now it's just rooted in this cultural practice from the Philippines. I, I mainly create to keep me out of trouble. There's only so much uh, uh, Netflix and, and reading that you can do and partying and, and all of those things. It, it's fun, but the art actually keeps me grounded, uh, keeps me in touch with the community, with my family, my ancestors. I embody my Philippine identity in, in my art through this, this cultural practice, which is a Philippine script and tattooing that have been going on in the Philippines uh, for over 4,000 years and with the script, you know, hundreds of years. And just within the last, say, five years, you can see the script here within Soma, Pilipinas, even more in this district than in the Philippines itself. Balay Creative is, is literally a home, is what Balay means. And, and I, I've, I've lived in this area for, for years, uh, also grew up in the area. I have fond memories from my, my parents and my grandparents in this area. So this is pretty much a homecoming for me. My experience uh, at Balay is it reminds me of growing up in a neighborhood where you could just walk down the streets and see people's names and say, hey, what's up? And now in times of people kind of spread apart and isolated online, it's, uh, it's quite a uh, refreshing experience. Balay has helped me grow as an artist because I have a physical space where uh, I can see people, I can meet other artists, can give back to the community, and I can take the things that I see that are right outside the doorsteps of Balay and create art for them. Having my own studio space is is great because it's not just a place where I can uh, leave my artwork, but it's also for other people to visit as well. The biggest project that I created here was a 10-foot canvas piece I did for a uh, resident um, here in Soma, Pilipinas. And it was a pretty big piece where I took up you know, half the space here. Uh, I was by myself on a Saturday morning, uh, pumped up the music, and it, it was, very meditative and, and refreshing because I've never had a, a space to do that. It took, me, it took me really quick actually. It took me 10 minutes to do, but it took an hour to set up. I, I tend to paint fast because as, as a kid, I grew up uh, uh, tagging walls and stuff and you always had to look over your back for the cops. So I learned how to do my work quick. I'm currently working on these uh, tattoo, traditional tattoo cards. Uh, where I'm using batok, which is a traditional practice, on these uh, synthetic skins that I'm transferring to these uh, trading cards. I'm actually gonna work on this practice skin. It's a uh, silicone, it mimics the actual human skin. So, so machine tattoo artists use this, but I'm gonna do it with tapping, which is quite difficult and challenging, because uh, when, you, when you tap, the, the ink doesn't go in as deep as a machine. It doesn't yeah. penetrate as much, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm still I'm still learning. I mean, it's like a, since 2013 I started like apprenticing and you know done a few, but it's really the, the, it's hard because you have to know the academics part of it, like the patterns and the regions and the cultural uh, context. And then you have to uh, make your own tools too, and you have to physically know how to do it, which is quite different than um, what people would use, you know, as a paintbrush and because you're using your offhand to guide the tattoo tool and then you're hitting with your strong hand. So usually when you're gonna write or paint, you're gonna use your strong hand. So it's kind of awkward, you know, at first, but muscle memory. My dream project would include all the art practices that I do. And that would include uh, music, technology like augmented reality, also traditional art as well, such as tattooing, uh, script, canvas, and education. So combining all of those into one project would be a dream. 
the advice I would have uh, told myself was don't try too hard at school. Even though I was a bad student, I still tried. And it didn't really get me uh, you know, that financial uh, freedom as what was promised to us by parents and, and the authorities. So I would have probably chosen to be even more creative. Um, art at school is looked at as an elective, but rather than a uh, focus where you can grow your creativity. Yeah, you can follow me uh, on my website, kabuai.com, uh, links to all my social media. I invite everyone to come check out uh, Balai Creative and the studios, and maybe one day y'all can take part of this. Oh, 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 oh,